Hey, what's up, SAS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you a tool that lets you create several display banners with little to none effort. Now, the cool part about it is that you set some quick settings like your logo, the image that you're going to use, and headings and titles, and they're good to go. Now, the cool part about it is that it generates 10 different type of size banners for ads, for social media posts, or just whatever you want to use it for. Now, don't mistake this with an image editor. This is not as complex as an image editor. What this does, it saves you time if you don't have that cre creativity or if you don't have time to create several display banner sizes in like every time that you need to save one. So this one lets you do it all in one, and not one step, but it makes it, it makes the process really, really easy. So stick around. I want to show you the deal that's going on right now. And then let's jump over to quick banners. So let's head on over there. All right. So the deal that I'm talking about, it's called quick banners. And right now it's in beta stage. It's only $59 for a lifetime deal. So that means you pay once and you can use it forever and you don't have to pay month to month. Now, if you guys want to grab that deal, do consider using the link in my description. It gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. Now, what does that $59 get you? Well, you get lifetime access to quick banners and it's tied to the little light plan updates, right? And you get access to quick banners, obviously, right? All that for $59 and you're good to go. Now, let me show you what quick banners actually does. Now, like I mentioned before, this is not like an image editor. This is more like I generate several images from the basic settings that I said. Now I have two options, one display banners and the other one is social media ads. Let's go jump into display banners, which will display a 10 set of, this, of sizes that I can use. Now there's several templates that I can use right here that will turn out into 10 templates, all right? So check this out. You can grab one of the ones that you like right here by default or choose something that you want to make. Just go lifetime, lifetime and fashion, software, cat, gadgets, so on and so forth. I mean, let's just grab this watch right here, okay? And like I said before, it, it turns it out into 10 type of displays right here. Now, what can we do? Well, we can change the background color, for example. Let's do, let's do black for this one, all right? Now it changes it black for all of them. Now let's update, upload a product image. In this case, I have prepared this golden faucet that I have right here. And you can see how easy it is, right? It's just changing it up on each one of them. Now, if I want to move the image inside of the square for each one of the banners, I can do it. So for example, if the image is bigger or if like it's carried to the right, well, I could just switch it up a bit, right? So move it somewhere that I need it. All right, see that there? I can move it around inside of the box, all right? So I'm okay with that. None of the images are outside of the box for my case. I can upload a logo if I like. In this case, I'll just upload this uh, white semester one and it changes it there. All right, let's change the color button in this plate. In this case, it's transparent, but let's go something with golden. All right, so let's go to that yellowish. All right, all right. And obviously the text color doesn't look okay. So we're gonna change it to black. All right, and the button border radius. Do we wanna change that? See how it makes it round or squared? Now the call to action. For this case, it says bid now. This is not a, something for bidding. This is, um, let's see, see deal. All right, let's change that to that. And the heading. So for example, um, modern faucet, all right? And the heading color, so for example, I change that to red. That doesn't look good. White looks fine for me. All right, so that looks okay. We got the font theme. So for example, these are the fonts that are available. Um, in my personal opinion, I think they should add more fonts, plus give you the option to add your custom font to make it even more to your branding, right? So it looks more whatever you're using for your brand. Now, just by setting up those quick settings, I got access to these 10 designs, right? So I can download the whole set without having to create one by one. That is the main beauty about quick banners. And this is the, the main reason you might want to need this. Like I said before, maybe you don't have creativity to create the banners or two, you just need to have all these sizes available and you don't want to make one by one with a traditional image designer. The downside about this is that you don't have an image designer to create one to, for example, you can't fine tune this. Like, like for example, I wanted to move the button. You can't do that. You can't move the text. What you can move is the image and not sure, no, logo also, just the image that you want to have displayed right here. So you can't move around anything of, of the other stuff, right? So you can't fine tune that. So that's something that you have to consider with this. If you're okay with something simple that creates all these banner, multiple banners, then you're good to go. 
You also have access to the stock image source by Pexels and Pixbay. What does that mean? If I search for something like, I don't know, a cow, I can search for that. And I can grab it from here, right? I can use these, these images there. Other things you have, I could change the template if I don't like what I've selected, and I could download the whole set once I'm ready. Let's just say that's what I like, it's good to go, and it's nice. I want to display it somewhere, right? Here you go. Grab the zip file, and you're gonna grab, it's gonna download all the banners for you. Plus, you also have this image editor that this is more like a fine tuned image editor, but it's not based on the banners, right? You start from scratch. It kind of looks even like Photoshop, right? You got access to PNG, SVGs like you got file edit and all that good stuff right but you can edit what happens on quick banner right just to have that example now let's go jump over to the other one which is social media ads now what this does it's going to grab social media ads type of sizes that are right that, that are the right fit for social media right so for example um i don't know let's grab this guy right here okay so i grab this one again i can upload the image right here let's grab the faucet and my logo okay that doesn't look good um it's even too big right so grab that we'll have that like in the opacity there just have that some opacity there yeah, that, that works out um this right here is a box that i can drag move it around let's upload the logo here that's where the logo is all right okay there we go now that box is another color okay that doesn't go there um, again, we'll put some of the gold in there. All right, just for testing purposes. Again, we can edit the product name in this case, the product description, and the price for this. So, for example, I'll just say this is one ninety nine. All right, that's before, and the price is nine ninety nine. All right, there we go. So this is more for a sales kind of banner, right? Now, like I said, it creates multiple banner sizes. So in this case, we're looking at Instagram, which is a squared 180, 1,180 by 1,180. Facebook post, Facebook link, Twitter post. And again, we can download the whole set just by clicking on this, grab the zip, and we get all the images sizes. That's what's so cool about quick banners is having that way to create things that are really fast for several banner sizes and not having to do one by one. Now, if you're looking for something simple, something that don't, doesn't take your time, and you can just edit like the way you saw right now, where I just add the logo, the image, change the colors, and it's gonna display the banners, and that's great for you, then this is the deal that you might want to get. Now, if you're looking to fine tune an image where you want to make something really customizable and not just like random display like it's doing right here, well, this, is, this deal's not for you. But in the other case, it is. Well, like I said before, if you guys would like to support me, do consider using that link in the description in case you guys would like for me to grab a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more, which is the good part. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.